Hey guys, EVP Man here, and in today's video, we're taking a look at the Jabra Evolve 230s. These are brand new for 2021 and were just recently released. Let's go ahead and check them out. Now, in today's video, we're going to take a look at the Jabra Evolve 230s. We're going to do an EVP Man style call quality test that's going to include face mask, noise, wind, children crying, dogs barking, a whole bunch of tests. And then we're also going to do our audio test. And I have to tell you, they sound pretty good too. So you're going to hear how they sound. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to look at all the features in the specs. And one of the things I'll highlight at the very beginning is that these are uh, battery free headphones. They're not Bluetooth. They're actually corded, right? So they use a USB-A or USB-C connector. So as we take a look at the information here, you'll notice that in the packaging, which is really sleek and uh, it's almost like a, it's a, it came in almost like a bag. Uh, you'll notice that there's quite a bit of information about the headphones. Now these headphones are going to work with Microsoft Teams. They're going to work with Skype. Um, I've been testing these with a wide variety of services. I've been testing them with Zoom and they work fine. Uh, you'll be able to download the uh, Jabber Direct app onto your machine if you'd like to do that. And you'll be able then to update the headphones just as you would anything else. Now, uh, as we take a look at what's included, you get the headphones that I have on, and then you also get this nice little travel pouch, which is uh, pretty cool. I really like the fact that th this comes with, it's compact, it allows you to stow these and take them with you. Now, if you're curious on what the look, they actually look like, let's take them off and uh, take a look at these for a second. So uh, they do have, I would say, a stress-free uh, type, um, I'd say headband. You'll notice that there's very slight memory foam and it is adjustable. So there's some clickiness going right here. So you could see that. Uh, the other thing that you notice is that you do have the ability to move the mic up and down and it is uh, not so super flexible. It's kind of set in a specific area, but it's in the right place. You do have a little button here. You have controls here that you can uh, modify and move. And the other thing I'll mention to you is that I've been testing these with a wide variety of devices. So you'll notice here's the cable. Uh, standard USB-A, but what I did is I put a USB-C converter and I've also connected this not only to a PC, but I have this connected to a Mac, I've connected this to an iPhone, and I've also connected it to a iPad and also a, um, I would say an Android phone, uh, simply by connecting it through the USB. Now the headphones are pretty flexible and they do swivel either way so that you can stow them flat. Um, as we put these on so you can see what they look like, you know, this is what you're going to get the kind of effect. As you pull down, you can adjust them. They're going to be on your ear model, right? So they're not going to cover the entire ear, but they're going to rest right on top of it. And I can tell you that I haven't really experienced any heat or any fatigue because of wearing these because they're so light. Uh, you could bring, you know, you could bring this down just simply like this and they're perfectly distanced from your face, which is really important. So you always want to have your mic two fingers from your mouth. That way you're not lisping on top of it or you know spitting on top of it as you speak. You'll get a lot of those pops as you're talking. So you'll notice what it looks like right there. And then when you're done, you can just uh, pop them up. Uh, they do have a little LED when you're on. Uh, so that's if you're in an area where there's other people so they can see that you're on a call. But you know if you're at home or you're doing school from home, that really doesn't apply. Uh, so pretty straightforward, right? That's what they look like. So next, let's go ahead and do our call quality test and then we'll go into our audio test. Now we're gonna do our call quality test of the Jabra Valve 2 in a quiet environment. As we take a look at our decibel readings, anywhere between 20 and 23 decibels of noise. Let's go ahead and switch. Now this is what the call quality would sound like when making a phone call on the Jabra Valve 230 in a quiet environment. This is a test, one, two, three, this is our test. Next, we're gonna add wind to this environment. Now this is what the Jabra Valve 230 sound like with wind. This is a test, one, two, three, this is a test. Now we're doing our call quality test, but this time with the face mask on. This is a test. One, two, three. This is a test. Now we're doing the same call quality test, but this time in a much noisy environment. You can see our decibel readings are anywhere from 32 all the way up to 80 decibels of noise. But when it's just switch, we'll stay quiet and see how much is being canceled, and then we'll continue with our audio test. It's going to switch. Now this is what the call quality would sound like in a noisier environment using the Jabra Valve 230. This is a test. One, two, three. This is a test. Now we're doing the same call quality test, but this time in an environment with an infant crying in the background. This is a test. One, two, three. This is a test. Now we're continuing our call quality test, but this time with a dog barking in the background. This is a test. One, two, three. This is a test. Now this next test is going to include a doorbell ringing in the background. This is a test. This is what it would sound like with a doorbell ringing in the background. Day 
steps I need to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many. When the old one's gone under the night. So guys, that was our review of the Dev Revolve 230s. See you in the next one.